Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket Q 8TB NVMe SSD drive. Now this retails for roughly $1,300 US dollars. Uh, it's been on the market for, I'm going to say, approximately 10 months, somewhere in that area, and I've been waiting patiently for it to arrive, and finally, a review unit has landed. And I'm excited to share it with all of you because, at present, this is the largest uh, single drive capacity still on Earth. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if Sabrent pulls another trick uh, out of their sleeve. And the reason that I've got these other enclosures in the background is because I felt they were all really solid choices if you purchase a drive like this and you don't plan on putting it uh, inside of a desktop or laptop, if that laptop can even support it, then these are all really solid options from Sabrent. Uh, again, this was sent over for review purposes, but I have not been paid to promote these products, anything of that nature. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And for anyone who hasn't seen these, I'll go over them as we take a look at this. And I am gonna test this uh, in laptop as well as des uh, desktop capability, uh, because as I mentioned, it's really a very flexible uh, storage solution. It's all a matter of whether or not your hardware really can support what you're about to drop on it, which again is crazy. Uh, to actually finally have in hand. Now, don't get me wrong, the eight terabyte extreme uh, Q drive that they sent over, which is the best external eight terabyte NVMe drive on earth. Um, I love that drive, but of course, I can't stick it inside of a laptop. So there's something to be said for the flexibility of being able to actually utilize this in a machine rather than it being just an external drive. However, I know many of you out there are going to want external options because not everyone has Thunderbolt 3 or 4 and that's why I have Sabrance uh, Type-C tool-free, really affordable and as far as I'm concerned uh, in incredibly well built and uh, performance has been great on this little guy uh, so that's why it's here. But without further ado, the 8 terabyte Rocket Q. And this is going to be a game changer for me as a content creator, uh, no question about it. I've seen what performance is like. Uh, this is not a Gen 4 drive, but still, it will give you some of the best read and write speed on the market. Uh, so, is this right for you? I guess that depends on what you're aiming to actually accomplish. If, like me, you're a content creator and a gamer uh, and a photographer, all of those things, this is really a dream drive, just as the external 8 terabyte uh, Extreme Q is. But, as I stated earlier, I think more flexible for a lot of you and of course less expensive. The Extreme Q uh, is backwards compatible, so it is Thunderbolt 3 capable. Uh, so on average, the speeds that drive delivers are over a gigabyte a second, which is insane for an external drive. Uh, and then of course the beauty of that drive is that it can also be used with laptops like my Asus G15 that doesn't have any Thunderbolt connectivity. But if this can actually work in the G15, well, then that's where it shall live. And I know many of you uh, have seen my struggles with the G15 and are wondering, well, how could this work if you weren't able to get the Gen 4, 2, or 4 terabyte drives working? Well, the 4 terabyte Rocket Q, which is the same drive as this, but of course half the amount of storage, works perfectly well in the Asus G15. So if this is able, and I basically will be cloning this almost as soon as possible, uh, from the original uh, Hynix drive that comes out of the, the box, or in the box, I should say, in the G15. If it's possible, you will find out. And I will be benchmarking this drive as well. Uh, but let's put this aside for a moment. The reason that I have these here is actually very legitimate. So if you purchase this and you want something that's Thunderbolt 3 compatible and tool-free, this is what you should be looking at. Uh, it is one of my favorite external enclosures, and it's just as simple as popping it open, twisting it, and seating your drive. Now, right now, as you can see, I've got a Sabrent one terabyte. This is a Gen 4 drive. It's not their latest revision, which are the 4 Plus. Still phenomenal performance out of this. I mean, I have to say, Sabrent knows exactly what they're doing these days, and I've given them praise, not just because we have a relationship, I say this all the time, but they are innovating. 
And one of the reasons I started this channel is about, is really based on innovation and personal interest. And that's where something like this comes to life. Now, if you do not have a laptop or desktop with Thunderbolt support, that's where this uh, enclosure comes into play. Also completely tool free, design drastically different if you couldn't tell, uh, but the advantage here is pricing. You know, this, and by the way, links will be in the description for all of these items. This is significantly more expensive, about twice the price of this little guy. And basically you just press this button right here and there you have one of the drives I was just talking about, which is the four terabyte Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 drive. So if you have a system that supports Gen 4, this is pretty much the drive to own right now. I do not believe that Sabrent has an eight terabyte on the market yet for uh, the Gen 4 uh, speed that this provides, which is blistering. This is essentially the fastest drive on earth. The only other one that competes with it, of course, uh, comes from Samsung. Now, you may be wondering why I've got the dual Thunderbolt enclosure. Well, I unboxed this a while back. Uh, Sabrin sent it over and then it retailed for $250. And I demoed it for you guys. I didn't do an incredibly good job on demoing it and installing uh, the eight terabyte, uh, or excuse me, the drives that I was installing in it. Um, and now I have a better command. So today will be a different day. But this is ideal for anyone who has Thunderbolt 3 uh, capability, as I've been mentioning throughout the course of this video, but wants more storage than even the eight terabyte it can afford you. So Sabrent has cooked up and has at least listed, but I do not believe they've started shipping yet, uh, but I do have basically a pre-production version of a 16 terabyte NVMe drive. And uh, that is yet another goodie here, which I'm going to be sharing with all of you. Not in this video, uh, but essentially what this is, and you may or may not remember it from when I shared it a while back, this is what this drive looks like. And it does require uh, dedicated power. It comes with a DC adapter, has a dedicated power switch and uh, LED indicators for disc one and two. And essentially, again, tool free, um, you do need a little bit of a nail to pop it open, but once you have it open, you have two bays. Now, I had trouble with dropping the drives in uh, back on my unboxing because I'd never touched one. I hadn't dealt with it, and Sabrent had changed uh, essentially the way that you drop drives into their enclosures, which it's always rolling because they're always improving their engineering. It's another thing I appreciate about them. Uh, and with this drive, you know, I made things look complicated. It's not. Uh, so part of the pre-production unit that I will have to share with all of you is the world's first 16 terabyte drive. Now, again, it will not be self-powered. It will be this drive that you see right here, but think about that. 16 terabytes in the palm of your hand, even if it requires a dedicated power supply, um, and I have the power supply right here, that's still absolutely amazing and really a dream for anybody who's in video editing, photo editing, and needs mass storage like this. This is the power brick, not that large at all. And again, uh, another bonus on this is that that original price of 250 US dollars has dropped now, I believe, down to 150, at least the last time I checked. So uh, really an amazing thing, and I'm excited to share that with all of you, but I just wanted to show several different options to complement this guy right here, because the eight terabyte Q is ideal for so many different uses. In my case, it is essentially, again, a dream drive, and I'm just ex excited to share with all of you uh, how competent it is, and I'm going to test it uh, thoroughly, the thresholds, and of course, keep your eyes open for the 16 terabyte reveal as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the first on YouTube. I don't have a suggested retail price for that yet. I'm waiting to hear back, uh, but as soon as I do, you can be sure I will share it with all of you. But of course, it's not going to be inexpensive. I mean, considering this is a $1,300 drive right now uh, on Amazon, and this is $150, used to be $250. Uh, then take into account the fact that, that there's going to be two in here. I mean, if I had to guess on a price, it's probably going to be a, a $3,000 drive, I imagine. And while that may sound insane to many of you, for those of you who have been waiting for high-performance perform mass storage, 
Oh, you're not going to come close to what Sabrent is doing. I don't care who your favorite manufacturer is. Sabrent owns this game right now. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Again, links are in the description for everything. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.